Why men pull away when they're falling in love. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why men pull away when they're falling in love and what you can do to get your relationship back on track. It's Sabrina, your personal love advisor from the channel where we show you how love actually works, a new mode. Okay, so here's how it usually goes down. You're dating a guy and things seem to be going really well. You really like this guy. You really think that he could possibly be the one, but then all of a sudden he is backing away, he's acting distant, and you have no idea what's going on. What happened? Did you do something wrong? Did you do something to turn him off? Did you say something you shouldn't have? Are all men commitment phobes? Why does nothing ever work out for you? What is going on? Where is he? Everything was going so well. And the ultimate question is, what happened? Don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything to you. I'm gonna tell you exactly why guys pull away when it seems like they are falling in love. If you are ready to learn the truth, type I'm ready right now in the comment section while the intro plays. Before we begin, I have a small favor to ask. If you like this video, if you like any of my videos, if you like me as a person, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell to turn on notifications, and leave me a comment letting me know what you think and letting me know what other videos you'd like me to create. Okay, let's get into it. First things first is women tend to preemptively panic when something seems like a bad sign. So before you start panicking over the fact that he seems to be losing interest and pulling away, make sure he's actually pulling away. Just give it a few days and see what happens and make sure you actually have a problem before you try to solve the problem. Most of the time, everything will go back to normal and there will just be no problem to solve. So it's a waste of time and energy to focus on solving a problem that isn't even a problem. But what if he is pulling away, you've given it a few days and it's clear that he legitimately is pulling away from you. What's going on? These are the possible reasons why. Number one, he's stressed about something that has nothing to do with you. This is the most likely culprit. If you've watched my other videos, if you've read any of my content, you'll know all about this because I talk about it a lot. When men are stressed or emotionally off balance or just dealing with something that's overwhelming, stressful, whatever the case may be, most men prefer to pull back, retreat and deal with it internally. They don't want to bring it into the relationship and then have a relationship problem to deal with on top of whatever other problem they're dealing with. Men prefer to just work things out on their own. They don't like to be seen when they're in a weakened or vulnerable state. Even if it's by you, the woman that they love who cares about them, they just prefer to work through it on their own. This is just a guy thing. Number two, he needs to step out of the emotional whirlpool. Most men aren't comfortable navigating the emotional waters. They can be very intense. As you know, anyone who's ever been in love knows that it is an extremely intense emotional experience. And most men have a really hard time dealing with that. And when it gets to be too much, he might just pull back to re calibrate, get himself back to a good solid place. And he might just need to get back in touch with his masculine energy and out of all that fluffy feminine energy that comes with falling in love. If men had their way, the only emotions they would feel are calm and content. That's it. Anything beyond that can get to be a bit overwhelming for him. The third reason he might pull away when it seems like he's falling in love is he is not sure if he's ready to get married or for a serious commitment. Now, if a guy senses that this is what you want, he could tell that you want to get married, that you want a serious commitment. And if he's not quite on that page yet, he might pull away because he's just trying to figure out how he feels. He doesn't necessarily want to break up with you. He doesn't want to lose you, but he just isn't sure if you guys are on the same page here. Again, this is just the way that men deal with problems. They prefer to retreat, to pull back, work through it on their own, and then come back once they've solved the problem. Now, it doesn't mean you're doomed here. He might realize that he really does want to marry you. He might realize he doesn't want to get married at all. Either way, it's good for him to just take that space to do what he has to do in order to get the clarity that he needs. Number four, the relationship is moving too fast. Relationships do have a tendency to start out at lightning speed, especially when you are being flooded with the chemistry and the dopamine and just the electricity and the excitement of it all because it is super exciting to fall in love. As a result, it might be hard for you guys to pry yourself away from one another and this isn't a healthy thing. It's not a healthy way to be even though that might be your natural response. You wanna spend all your time with this other person. He might be feeling a little too pressured at this point because the relationship is moving so quickly and it just doesn't feel natural. It's doesn't feel sustainable to him to keep up that pace. And so this could be the reason why he's pulling back a little bit. He might just want to step back and reset and get things back to a normal pace. And that's a good thing. Healthy relationships build slowly. They don't start all at once. 
Number five, he needs to get his life in order. Now, again, I'm gonna use generalities. Most men need to feel like their life is in order in ways that are significant and meaningful to him. It could be his career, it could be his emotional state, whatever the case may be. Men need to feel like their lives are in order, that he is on top of things in his life before they want to settle down into a relationship. Most women are not like this. Most women do not feel like, okay, first I'm gonna get my career on track and then I'm gonna get into a serious relationship. Women might hold off on having children in favor of you know focusing on their career and that's one thing but a woman most likely won't say she doesn't want to be in a relationship because she just wants to focus on her career right now a woman can do both most men don't want to be seen one when they're in a weakened state and if he is unemployed or he doesn't know what he wants to do with his life that is a weakened state in his mind maybe you don't think it's a big deal but to him it is and he won't want to be seen by a woman that he cares about when he is in that state so if you're dating a guy he's pulling away and he is has some messiness in his life that he needs to sort through then it's possible he's just not ready to be in a relationship right now until he gets on top of whatever his issues are and from personal experience do not try to solve his problems for him don't find a job for him don't try to clean up his life for him that just does not end well. The sixth reason why he might be pulling away is that he is not sure if you're the one. Just because it all sounds good on paper does not mean that it's good in real life. Love does not conquer all despite what you've been told for your entire life. Love cannot compensate for a lack of fundamental compatibility and chemistry also cannot compensate for a lack of compatibility. You can't survive on chemistry alone. Your body might be telling you one thing but your rational mind might be saying another and maybe the chemistry is so strong you think that it can outweigh whatever the issues are but it just is not the case you cannot stand on chemistry alone you have to be compatible you have to have shared goals and shared values and a shared vision for the future now a lot of women tend to think that oh well, I can make it work it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if he doesn't want kids and I really want kids we'll figure it out love conquers all love will find a way it doesn't work this way also if a guy isn't sure that you're the one and he breaks up with you or says he needs space, whatever, that's a clear sign that he is not the one because the right guy for you is a guy who wants to be with you. Okay, so we've discussed the six most common reasons why a guy will pull away when he's falling in love. Now, what do we do about it? How do we solve this and get the relationship back on track? No matter what the reason, and all these reasons are different, but it's not even, you don't even need to figure out exactly what your reason is here because the solution and the advice is the same. It is to back off and give him space. Now, it doesn't mean you're just sitting back and waiting around for him to figure out what he wants. You should be focusing on yourself during this time. You should be focusing on building a life that is happy and fun and meaningful and fulfilling a life that you love so that you're happy when you're with this guy, you're happy when you're not with this guy. You can be fully happy on your own, not in the relationship. And then when the, if the relationship does work out and he does come back, then you could bring all that back into the relationship. That Those are the best relationships. Relationships where two people are happy and fulfilled on their own and then they can come together and all that happiness spills into the relationship as opposed to just extracting happiness from the relationship. Just give him space. Let him deal with whatever he needs to deal with. That's the common thread amongst all these reasons why a guy will pull away when he's falling in love. The common denominator here is he just needs to figure things out. He's not fully sorted out. He doesn't know how he feels. Maybe he doesn't know how he wants. Whatever the case may be, don't solve his problems for him. I can't stress this enough. You want a partner, not a project. Let him get to a place where he can be a partner to you. He is not a project for you to work on and fix. This is the biggest mistake women make. This is the biggest mistake that I made in all my years of being single and dating. I would find these damage cases and I would adopt them and try to fix them up into something dateable or something marriable. And suffice it to say, it didn't work out with any of those guys and my self-esteem got absolutely pummeled and annihilated in the process. And if you've ever dated a guy like this, you know what I'm talking about. Share your experience in the comment section because I'm with you. I've been there, I've lived it. Focus on yourself. I can't say this enough. I'll say it one more time. Focus on yourself, focus on your happiness, focus on building up your self-esteem, focus on living a life that you love. And above all, do not obsess over the relationship. Okay, you're watching this video because you're trying to fix your relationship. After this, let that be that. Focus on yourself, take my advice to heart, follow through with it. Don't sit around stalking him, obsessing over what he's doing, what he's thinking, where he's at, what's going on. None of that, focus on yourself. Let him do what he needs to do. You can't control how he feels. You can't badger him into wanting to be with you. You can inspire him to want to be with you by 
fill in the sentence, being your best self. Okay, so you've given him space, you've worked on yourself, now what? What happens next? One of three things is gonna happen. Number one, he's gonna solve his problem and he's gonna come back and the relationship will be better than ever. Number two, he'll open up and he'll talk to you about it and maybe you guys can work on it together or solve it together. And number three, he will completely disappear or he'll come back, he'll dump you, and then he'll disappear. In which case, it sucks, I feel you. I will make some videos on how to get over a breakup. Uh, leave a comment, let me know if that's something you're interested in, because I have a lot to say about that. Sucks if that's what happens, I am so sorry, but you know what, at least you're free to move on to a guy that's right for you. And like I said earlier, the right guy for you is a guy who wants to be with you. So just let this one go, see what else is out there, and trust me, there is plenty out there. If you're liking this video so far, please tap the like button, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post new videos and leave me a comment, share your experiences, your thoughts, your questions, whatever you have to say, please leave it in comments. I love hearing from you guys. Again, you need to relinquish control here. The only person you can control is yourself. So focus on you, focus on being your absolute best self. When you do that, everything will fall into place. For more on this topic, check out the full article. The link is in the description box. And for more relationships, advice, check out anumode.com and more videos on this channel. And I will see you guys next time.